right, so today we're installing one on the, uh, the Honda Pioneer 500. Uh, this is a, for the hard tops, it's a three-piece unit due to the way that the top sits, and let's kind of look at this really quick. This top drops down really low and sticks out really far, so there's a kind of a big gap here. So we made a third piece that goes up here, and then the tilt section's down here, and your bottom section's down here. So kind of see how that works as we install this. You have your three pieces that come into your windshield. This is how your windshield's going to look when it arrives to you. This happens to be the more resistant material. Um, it is, uh, it's got the clear, it's got the, the, the uh, white protective coating on it, where the standard non-mar windshields have a, a clear coating on them. So as you're looking at your windshield, if it looks different than this, maybe it's a standard windshield. Um, same things being formed, uh, you get your install kit. What we want to start with is that we want to fill this plastic back just past these holes on the windshield right here. That's a really important part because this allows you to install your windshield, make sure it all fits, but if there is a problem and it needs to be sent back to us, if you just filled this plastic back past the holes, we can accept this as a return because then we can resell it easily. If you remove this protective plastic off, you on the windshield. Uh, the, uh, this gentleman had these mirrors. I moved them down to this location. I think I'll still be able to function with them. Mirrors can be placed uh, in different locations on this. On, on this one, since there's an opening on this lower part of the roll bar, you can kind of put your mirrors down there. Uh, or you can put your mirrors up in between this gap on the top part of your windshield. It'll flex around a little bit. Um, if you don't have mirrors and you're going to buy some, I really make, recommend the clamps that are the low profile clamps because then you can put them anywhere you want. These higher profile clamps, you've either got to specifically place them in center spots of your windshield or you've got to cut out your windshield. If you need to cut your windshield due to any uh, kind of a mirror situation or something like that, call us, we'll help you through it. It's not that big of a deal. But So we're going to take this guy, we're going to set it right up in here. It does look like... Those will be out of the way enough so I can wait until you have some bolt nut and lock washer. We're going to put our first one on right here on the bottom. And when we put our brackets on to begin with, one thing that we want to make sure we do is not tighten them down too tight. Uh, we just want to just, I'm just barely threading that on because I may need to shift this windshield a little bit. So I go to set up the other side, as well as I want to push it down tight to the body once both the brackets are on and then secure them down. So just finger tightening all my brackets. And while we're, I'm doing this, I'll just kind of make a note here is that you can see that your, the way we've designed this windshield is your hood still opens. Or your, yeah, your hood. Oh, and I didn't mention this to begin with, but the tool, two tools you'll need to install this windshield, and basically the only tools you'll need to install this windshield is a 7 16 inch wrench, Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, now once we have uh, these brackets on, basically what I'm going to do, we want to push this windshield down tight to the body. Now once I push it down, I can get my finger in and push pressure down on that bolt so it holds the windshield down, then I start snugging that guy up. Once it's snug a little, I'm going to take my wrench, put him on that, and I'm going to push, I'm going to actually push out, I'm pushing forward on this wrench, because then it keeps the windshield in a better position if you push, if you push forward on that. Now, don't tighten this top guy yet. Go over here, tighten your other bottom right. That way, everything stays level. You tighten both sides at once, you usually get a little bit of kink or twist into your windshield. This will give us a little bit better view for how we're going to do this top section. Now what I'm going to do is this soft band right here on this one. There's a soft band on one side, there's a hard band. Hard band goes down, soft band goes up. This little piece is going to basically come down and sit like that. So we can pretty much just set it there in place. And 
Again, we just want to get these guys put on here, just like everything else. We put them all on loose to begin with, go back and tighten them up after we've got it all on, so that if we have this windshield off-centered at all, we can move it. Okay, the only one to just make sure is, is that we don't have that push down too tight, so we can't get this guy out. So it is actually... Okay, now we have that piece all secured into place. Our windshield is all set. Okay, so you can see this one because we did take the roof off, so it does give us a little more light. But in the end, that is how we want our bracket set up. Rounded part to the front, flatter part to the back. So, slip this over right there like that. That down, bracket goes up, cinch it nice and tight, and that support goes right to the windshield, just right there. You want to move that forward just like that. Just got to twist that. When, when the bracket hits the windshield, you know you're in the right position. From there, basically what we're going to do when we want to put our windshield in the up position, is so we put our bolt and lock washer, just put your finger in there on the bolt, put that there, and then we have a wing nut that goes on there. And that secures that in the down position. Then when you have your windshield, that secures your windshield in the up position. If you're putting the windshield in the down position, there's a little hole through this upper support you can just hook your bracket in there. You can put a little wire tie through there if you like. It'll just keep your bracket up and out of your way. So you can just secure it to this little hole. That we put a hole in this top piece. And the only reason there is a hole there is so you can, if you want to wire tie it up or something, get it out of your face, get it out of the way so you can just leave it there. Don't worry about it. Kind of did that for you. So now this is our, this is our position. I mean, we've got solid hard windshield. <clears throat> solid hard windshield. Um, this is what we're going to be doing when we're, this is how it's going to be. We're driving around, it's a cold day, it's a wet day, what have you. It gets warm, or we're going, we're leaving to go home and we're going to tow it. If you're towing in an open trailer, it is mandatory that our window, windshields be towed in the down position. We only warranty our windshields if towed in the down position. Um, there is a ton of wind factors that come into play in the up position as well. So we, that's part why we don't warranty it there. It's way abusive on them to travel down the road that way. Uh, it's way easier and less abusive on a windshield to put it down. So it's just designed to be towed in the down position. So four straps that secure it to the roll bar. So basically these four straps, one through each one of these holes. Smooth side facing you, smooth side facing you, clip to the top, pull it through, and secure it. And obviously, we'd want to go around and do that to all four of those. Now, we're tilting our windshield in the down position for towing or for when it's hot and dusty. So drop it down like that. Also, one of the advantages, this is how you want to, if your windshield gets dirty when you're out riding, this is how you want to clean it off. Tilt your windshield down, rinse this off with water, dry it off with a clean cloth. Where windshields get scratched, mar or non-mar, they will all scratch if you spray Windex on them. Windex is the biggest nemesis to Lexan in the world, to plastics as whole. Don't use Windex. Uh, water is your best method. Soap and water, fantastic. Uh, Dawn in a little bucket. If you're doing a cleaning up on your bike, works fantastic on the windshield. Uh, but when you're washing it, you just tilt it down, rinse it off with some water, dry it with a microfiber cloth. We also have a product called Novus One. You can utilize a product like that to help uh, reduce your static electricity. Now what we're gonna do here to begin with, so we're gonna secure these two these straps on here. Now strap number one, smooth side facing this, clip to the top. Strap number two, get these ones out of my hand so there's no obstruction. Number two, it's gonna go around that roll bar right there. And I'm just gonna pull these. I'm not actually gonna pull these very tight. 
I want this loose so I can actually get underneath here and get some the bumpers I need to put on in just a minute. I'm gonna put these brack. I'm gonna put these straps on. So again, smooth side facing me. Smooth side facing me with the clip to the front. Slide it through. Come back through the clip. Softly pull these tight. Reason would suggest you pull them, set, sink them down a little bit before you do it, is because they. Um, the windshield will move slightly when you go to pull it back, so it changes the position of it slightly. So it's four little rubber bumpers that uh, we supply in the pack for you. You can see it's basically hitting on four points here. Right across the hood right here, that's our first one. So we want to put one right there, get it nice and centered, push that guy down. Get another one. Another one, we're going to just put it up on this slope. There's this little slope here. So we're just going to put it up on this slope and actually secure it down from the inside of that slope. So it will just set up over that slope like that. Just fit it in there nice and tight. These bumpers work amazing and hold on amazingly well. Just push them down nice and tight so they get a nice seat. If your bike's dirty, clean it off. This bike happens to be really pretty clean here. And when you go to tow this, now we're going to get aggressive on these straps. We're going to pull these guys really tight. And we're going to wrap that guy around that. So this outside one wraps around this one and it secures. And then the inside one secures this. So we got a double Velcro is basically what it is. So we got double locked, locked on that. You want to have it nice and tight, whether you're towing it or you're riding down the road. You don't want that windshield coming up when you're, when you're doing that. So we're going to do the same thing, Top, pulling that nice and tight, securing this front one on the, on the one wrapping around the crossbar, and we're all set. This is our position, and you can see as we're towing it down the... I'm lifting with all I got. Two things you can just remind me of. Uh, never, ever, ever use Loctite. Ever, ever use Loctite on plastic. It is not designed for plastic, was not manufactured for plastic, was manufactured for metal and will destroy plastic. So never ever use Loctite because if you do use Loctite, you can't wash out the fact that you use Loctite because it actually impregnates uh, plastic and we won't warranty it. So if you use Loctite, you're going to break your windshield and you're going to have to buy you a new one. So that sucks. So don't do that. Number two, if your straps get old over time, just like towing anything, you need to make sure your toes, these straps are good. If they're not good, they're, they're all beaten up, you've trashed them, you've whatever, dropped them in the mud too many times or what have you. I've had mine for years and they're still great, but I'm gonna assume somewhere down the road these are gonna wear out. Replace them. This holds your windshield in place when you're traveling with it down, when you're traveling in the up position. They're a couple dollars of 250 right now. They might be a few dollars, you know, maybe 50 cents more in the future, but they're 250 at this time. 2015, so, you know, 15 years from now, don't quote me on the two dollars. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, you know, secure those down like that. Uh, replace those when needed. Rinse it off with water. Go out and have fun. We appreciate your business. Thanks.